I'm Alan Whiting from OutbackTravelAustralia.com.au and this is Kia's Sportage Platinum Diesel Edition. It's got plenty of grunt, let's see how it goes. Sportage is an absolute pocket rocket. This is the 2 litre diesel and it's got nearly as much grunt as the Nissan Juke with a more practical interior. The suspension's nicely firm for bitumen handling and it's an absolute flyer. Electric steering feels good, brakes are excellent. The seat adjustability is good. The support's not bad, could do with a bit more shoulder support. Vision is beautiful, the mirrors are good, not much to complain about at all. Considering there's a 2 litre turbo diesel just a metre away from the driver's ear, the noise levels are very good. Love smooth dirt as well. It's very, very responsive. A slight bit of turbo lag if you bury your foot, but you can always play the gear shift if you want to avoid that. However, it doesn't like big bumps, it's a bit too firm for that. Portage is certainly bitumen and dirt road capable. We'll give it a whirl now on our little test track. The Sportage feels quite at home on this rutted fire trail, but it doesn't have a lot of ground clearance at the front, so where the ruts are deep, need to straddle them. It won't go where a high ground clearance four-wheel drive will go. For our rocky trail climb, we'll lock up the four-wheel drive system so we get 50-50 torque front and rear. Portage likes our hill. The traction control's working nicely. Be better with bush tyres that had a bit better grip, but for road tyres at road pressures, this is quite capable. The hill descent control isn't really set for this stuff. So need the wheel brakes as well. The mapping is worth having. This is a fire trail and it's clearly marked with some offshoots as well. This is the heart of the matter. There's an east-west mounted 2-litre turbocharged common rail diesel which puts out 135 kilowatts and 392 newton metres of torque. That's plenty of grunt to pull a camper trailer and it's rated to tow 1600 kilos. It all hides under this cover that's easy to remove. The cargo area is generous and can be extended of course and the seats fold forward. Unfortunately they don't fold flat and the spare wheel well is cavernous. There's plenty of room for tools, recovery gear, anything you don't want to share and it has a proper road wheel with a proper road tyre. 
no temporary rubbish. Uh, there's also a power point to run a fridge or whatever and some light duty tie downs. The reversing camera is very handy because the back window is quite small. The Kia Sportage is an excellent around town and country touring vehicle. It's limited a little by having a 58 litre tank and it's not the most frugal diesel engine. We've averaged 8.5 litres per 100k and some of the Euro diesels do a fair bit better than that. But it'll tow a camper trailer with ease, it's got plenty of grunt and it's quite capable on moderate fire trails. Nice machine.